Hello everyone. Uh, before we start with the video, I would like to make an announcement. Uh, I will be posting uh, this video in English and um, after a couple of hours, I will be, uh, you know, prepare another copy in uh, another language, which is Arabic for the Arabic subscribers that keep demanding to upload a copy of all the videos that I uh, talk about specifically Dynamo in Arabic to ease the um, you know the process and the speed of their learning so um, just to highlight that for you so if you see any another video with the same uh, thumbnail with but with a different language uh, but English I mean uh, you can just ignore the the other copy and stick with the English copy thank you very much for watching let's go to the video Good morning. In today's video, I will be showing how to rotate a group of structural elements and uh, based on, uh, you know, them to belong in the same uh, type and rotate all the instances of that types within the same command. And then I will uh, show a, a second, a bit more complicated uh, script that allow you to rotate the structural um, uh, the structural command an individual structural command actually by itself so you're just going to pick it and you are going to rotate it uh, a bit different uh, sorry uh, rotate it uh, by itself I, I mean with something different from the whole grid i'm here actually in response uh, preparing this video in response to raj as he was uh, asking about how to rotate structural columns um I, I don't know if you got anyone got or anyone have any suggestion to have a better uh, a better and shorter way to do that uh, for me that was just uh, trying to find the solution for uh, uh, Mr. Raj here and let me have a let me show you actually what I was uh, what I was doing so uh, I will uh, go ahead and rotate all structural columns uh, from the same type that's the first thing let's load this one and in this script it's uh, it's very basic and very easy just go ahead and have a select model element here and you, you pick any one of them any one of any one of those columns are, those are actually a structural columns or so not architectural columns just uh, be aware of that uh, so uh, you, you got you gotta go from structure you know columns in order to get them and when you select any one of those any any instance of those all grid of columns four by four they all belong to the same type and you're gonna get uh you know this guy here which is an element as you can see and if you use the 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 the, the element you gain straight and give it here to the instance you know to the family instance dot set by rotation uh, you're gonna get uh, an error message claiming this node that it actually was expecting you to uh, you know have an instance as you can see in the third line but you actually give it a, a, a structural framing itself uh, so what I what I was thinking about is uh, you know uh, having or thinking to get what actually the the script needs so it need an instance so easily I need to get all the instance I use here uh, this node which is family instance dot family type they are from a package you need to install which is archilab here and simply it will get uh, you know the type for this instance and uh, eventually we need to get all the instances belong to this type which is actually you know available in uh, the you know available in this type that you have as you can see, we have here 16 element. So all the instances of that type has been, you know, held and given to to the family instance dot set rotation. Now I will try. Excuse me to turn off my mobile. I don't know why it's on. Now uh, you see that the family instance has been fed properly, and the rotation angle is zero. So you go ahead. And you can rotate that and you can see that the structural columns are actually rotating based on you know uh, based on the angle uh, of rotation you provide here in this numerical slider i think that might you find that find useful if you want to rotate the whole 
a set of grids. They actually belong on all the indices that actually belong to the same types, uh, to the same type. Sorry, and that's how we do it. It's very easy. And if you want to rotate a single column. I don't know if it's uh, the shortest way. I, I really doubt it's the shortest way, but this is the way that I think about of it, uh, the fastest way or the first thing actually that I think of it. So again, select model element. I'm going to select this guy maybe, and as you can see, if I zoom in a bit, uh, the same technique. It's just uh, getting the type from that instance, and then I will get all instances that belong to the same type in here which is again 16 and as you can see I'm comparing the IDs of them so again this element ID which sorry this node will give me the element ID of all those 16 while this dude here will give me the ID for the element itself not the instance of that element as you can see but the ID is technically the same so here if you look you're gonna have a couple of uh, it's actually a 16 uh, ID and it gonna you know, just putting it here in a condition, if A equal to B, so that will be the result of a, a true and false condition. So all of them false except one true, which is the one element, which is this one. All that will be fed to a list dot filter by Boolean. So this is our mask you see here, but the list have to be, you know, the instance themselves. Uh, don't go ahead and pick anything else. Don't pick this one. That's the common mistake I always love to do. Because this dude here need to pick the real thing, which is the real instances that you're going to rotate. And the mask will be the one which, with a true value. So this dude here, the out of it will be the one, which is this guy, whatever we picked. So um, I'm just flattening the list and then giving it to the family instance dot set rotation. Now, if you rotate that dude here, he will be sadly rotated by himself only, as you can see here. And the rest of the group here will be stay as the way you left them because you did not pick them. And the only one, you know, element is actually rotating is this guy. So this is the way I thought of it. Uh, if anyone have any suggestion to make it easier, uh, the one that I, the way I see it, that this dude here is bringing the real element and uh, this dude here really needs the you know a, 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 a rabbit uh, it's actually a dynamo uh, family instance copy of what actually rivet you have in here or whatever uh, the dynamo sorry uh, copy as a family instance here in dynamo environment of that element or the, of that instance here that we have in rivet anyway i wish that guys you find this uh, video useful uh, thank you very much for watching me and have a good day bye bye Thank <laughs> you.